Hi everyone. This video is a supplement to the GFCI lab you're going to be doing. This will just be a quick tutorial on how to hook up your GFI. So first thing I want to point out here is I've already entered the wires into the box as you should. Um, you have on this side here is your feed. This would be coming from a panel otherwise known as the line side. And on this side here, if I flip it around, we have our load side. So this would be going on to any other receptacle or device that you're trying to protect with that GFI. I just want to point out a couple things. Uh, inside here, let me, inside the box, I do have the wires, uh, your bond wires attached to the back of the box. And if you can see here, I have just a little bit of the white insulation poking out past the uh, clamp. And same with on that side, uh, if I flip it over, you can see there's just a little bit of white insulation on uh, poking up past. This protects your conductors in case uh, you pinch them too much. So here we have our GFCI receptacle, uh, just standard receptacle. And I want you again to focus in on the back side here. So we have, um, flip that around, uh, line side on this side here. And right down here, it says load. Um, again, what that means is when you're looking at your receptacle and how you're going to tie it in, um, your feed is on your line side. That would go on the line side of the breaker up here. So there would be your, there's your brass screw. That would be where your black wire goes of your feed. There's your silver screw. That would be where uh, the white wire goes of the feed. On the load side, we have the, this other wire here that would be going to other receptacles or whatever else you're trying to protect with this GFCI. Um, and they would attach again to the load side of the receptacle, brass to black, silver to white. Okay. And then on the bottom here, you do have your uh, bond screw. All right, I have said it before, but I will say it again. When you are installing uh, GFCIs, the screw here, you're not meant to wrap a wire around the screw. It's meant to go in the back um, holes here. It, there's a little pressure clamp on the inside. When you tighten that screw in, the clamp closes. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate our line side from our load side. Make sure they're completely separated so you don't get them mixed up. Uh, the GFI, if you do get them mixed up, the GFCI will not work. What I tend to do is hook up my line side first. So right up here, I see I have my line side. And this is my line side that would be coming from my breaker panel or, or power source, the white wire will just be pushed right into the hole like that. You can take, you kind of have to hold it with your thumb, uh, finger, keep some pressure on it. And then you just tighten up that screw. Once you tighten the screw, that's in there nice and tight and that won't fall out. Do the same thing with the black. Wire goes in there, into the hole on the line side on the hot side, tighten up your screw and that's in there nice and tight. Okay. We'll do the same thing with the load side. Again, load side goes in the black on brass. Tighten that up nice and tight. You don't have to over torque it. Um, give it a little test when, uh, when you tighten it off. Um, you can strip those. So you do want to be somewhat careful. Again, holding that nice and tight. Tighten that up and give them a little tug test. Make sure they're uh, good to go. The last thing you want to do is the bond. Now the bond works the, the exact same way. So the bond wire slips underneath that little pressure plate. Then you're able to take your screwdriver and tighten that uh, little screw down. And again, once you do a connection like this, you should always give it a little test. Make sure it doesn't fall out. If we take a look at the back now, we can see you have your line and load. And if you follow it back, your line comes to uh, your line side, which is right here. And your load, which would be on this side here, if you follow it back in the back of the box, comes around there to your load wire. And that right there is how you hook up a GFCI, break, uh, GFCI receptacle.